I'm down. I'm your favorite bad guy, George Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new one. That's my new one. This is your favorite good guy, Kristoff the Third. Back at you guys again with this insecure men topic that you guys uh, voted for on the polls. Uh, we thank each and every one of you guys. I think the the poll was like, dude, there was a lot more. I don't say a lot more. It was like 13 8 at one point for like insecure men and the girls wanted more. So we're probably going to do the girls wanted more like later on when we get another girl on. So for those of you watching right now, somebody just came on. We're going to try to get that covered. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to get that covered. Uh, so um, when you when you let me ask you something. So the first thing that came to your mind when you think about insecure men, what is it? I think all men. You think all men? All men. All men. I so I I kind of tried to like really think this one deep, and I was and I was starting to think like okay, well, when we start talking about insecure men, what I mean I feel like okay, first of all like, like okay, every man is insecure, right? Everyone is insecure about almost the same things. But um, there's certain things I kind of wanna wanna hit on that I kind of just thought about. I was like, okay, well this is this is this. Okay, so, um, okay, so when it comes down to this whole insecure men situation, um, and the reason I wanna talk about this specifically is I saw a girl post this on her Instagram stories that it was like a tweet. I, I I'm, I'm paraphrasing. She said something along the lines of, when are we gonna start to talk about how men are addicted to sex because somewhere along the line they were heartbroken by somebody and they don't know how to deal with uh, certain situations so they look for this comfort or they go through this um, phase in their life where they kind of just look for for girls to just have sex with and they don't care about them and they just you get me? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm paraphrasing. So I kind of started to think. So first thing I want to kind of talk about before we start talking about the pure topic is do you feel like men go will go through a whole phase right whole phase anyways regardless of them getting heartbroken or not do you feel that because i do i feel like a man would at some point in his life he would regardless of him being heartbroken or not because when, when you think about it i i think men can go through that phase without being heartbroken mm -hmm. i do i would i can't understand completely why a heartbreak would lead you to that yeah. like, i can see it but I don't think that all men will eventually go through a phase either. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Well, I well, when we say all men, I don't mean every single man. Like 3.5, well, I think there's more men than women no, in the more world. Women. Okay, well, whatever then. Whatever, 3 billion, let's say, and there's like, what, 8 billion people almost right yeah. in the world. So say, I don't think every th 3 whatever billion guys in the world are going to go through a whole phase. But I think majority of guys that you're going to meet in your life are. That's exactly, well, well look at this. What's in high school, right? What's normal for guys to be hooking up with girls? That's 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 a norm. When you're not hooking up with girls, you're looked at as like a, like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you're looked at as like the outcast. So that's how we can say no. It's not all men, but it's a majority. Like of the men. vast majority. Yeah, like the vast majority <laughs> you're gonna meet. You know what I mean? Maybe you could even say that people who are not be going around is because you just can't get in a period. That could, that could be, be that one. could be a yeah, thing. Yeah, that could yeah. be a thing. Yes. So that could be a, a reason why they're not going. It's not that they don't want to, because they just can't. Well, okay. Look. All right. Then let 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 let's talk about it. Let's talk about this. Okay. So, men. I feel like men, when it comes down to emotional things, don't know how to cope with it that well, like women do. Right. I think that when we first go through a breakup, like a like a real breakup, women tend to like know how to deal with it as far as um. They'll, they'll cry, they'll go emotional on social, they'll let, they'll let it all out, you know what I mean? They don't care who sees, they just let it all out, they vent, and, and it all comes out, and, and it's like, you know, through, through, you know, time that it heals, and then they, they find somebody mm -hmm. else and whatever. And then for men, it's like, when we break up, it's like, ah, Vegas, you know, party time, and we don't necessarily deal with the trauma that could have happened. Not necessarily every breakup is trauma is traumatic, but if you did go through it, men probably won't deal with the trauma behind it. They won't deal with the impact behind it. They kind of just like brush it off because in, at the end of the day, as men, like we're like, mm, we're not gonna cry for no for no girl. We're not gonna do uh, you know. We're not about to go on social and act like bitches. Like we're not about to do none of that stuff. You get me? So we're just gonna. Brush it off and keep it moving. You get me? And then, 
like you hear like oh the best way to get over an ex is to get under a new one or whatever you know? <laughs> whatever whatever the whole thing is so that's like you you probably see like men get a rebound faster than you ever see a girl mm-hmm. get a rebound and when he's in that rebound he's not trying to be in a serious relationship he's just trying to like get his fix on and keep it moving you get me so and so then like that eventually leads to another fix and another fix and another fix i guess that's what you're saying yeah hold up um okay yeah i mean i see i see what you're saying uh, the only the only thing I regret in high school is getting with all the girls that wanted to get with, that don't didn't want to get with me. I'm with you on that one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. But uh, no, my my thing is is like um, I I what think part that? of it is we don't even know how to speak to each other about it. Yeah. Like think about it. Like True. if you saw me cry, what are you gonna do? Hey man, whatever you need, just just like you're not looking at me out of eye. Yeah, yeah. We're not looking at each other while I'm crying, cause I'll be weird. Like yeah, if I was heartbroken, hey man, look, whatever you need, bro, I got you, man. You know I got your back. If you want to go out tonight, like but yeah. you're not making eye contact. Yeah, we're, we're not. We're not like yo. Oh what, what do you need? Yes. Like, how do you feel? Yeah. Because we don't know how to feel. Yeah. That's, that's I think that's an important thing. Is men yeah. don't know how to feel. Like men are not okay with not being okay. Like we need to feel secure and okay all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. How do you know that the most refreshing thing is when a guy says, "Man, actually, I'm super insecure." Yeah. You're like, you, you check on me like, "Oh, dog, you're weird." Yeah. <laughs> like, but that's the most refreshing thing because you're not used to hearing that. Mm-hmm. Every man has to pretend to be secure, yeah. especially when you're around other men. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you're trying to be like that. The, the man, alpha, the macho you know, man. Because you know, but that's the thing. In society, uh, as men, we're taught that that you know, women want the alpha mm-hmm. male, yeah. right? And the alpha male is this guy that every guy looks up to, and every man, man, yeah, and every woman wants because he's you know serious and he has his shit together, and you know what I mean. He knows how to treat people, he knows how to talk, and you know those kind of men act this kind of yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Mean? So, you know, when you try to like be that kind of person, because I think it's almost primitive mm-hmm. for men to be like that. You yeah, get yeah me? because to try to it was about woman. getting that. Like even you sit in in, in uh, the whole animal kingdom idea. Where like the what is it the, the lion the, is like the the one with the mane exactly. right or or you see it even with what's that a peacock that has the nicest feathers opens that, up to get peacock, the, right? yeah yeah to get the, the the girl peacock I don't yeah. know female peacock you know all you see all that like so I understand the whole macho bravado you know because it was like part of a pragmatic survival mm-hmm. right but like think about it also no now though you're I guess successful of the opposite of that. Yeah, he did. He got something about being Mr. You know, R and B drive the end. You know, there's a thing. Um, I feel like like you bringing that up though. It's two things though. It's it's. I think like at the end of the, at the end of it, it's not necessarily about being the macho man, but it's about embodying both things. Yeah, being I think a that, I think that just you bringing up Drake is Drake was emotional, but Drake murdered Meek Mill. Mm-hmm. You get me? Yeah. So. Drake, be, I feel like when he did that, Drake became the man. Like around that, system. I mean, it was still Drake time, regardless. But when he did that, Drake became the man. Though. It was like, like yo, you just bodied, like you get me, like this. <laughs> Is that what he can, can rap? <laughs> yeah, like he can really rap. So, um, I think that like, oh, I guess I guess men forget that it's really about being both. You get me? It's, it's really about having balance. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really about okay, you know, you you got you getting your shit together. You're this guy, whatever. But you also like, like you'll find that. That the men that could you know express themselves emotionally the best are really more of a well balanced man at the end of the mm-hmm. day. You get me? Because we tend like when we're insecure, we're gonna put that on the woman. Yeah. For for the most part, you get me? I think that goes hand in hand. But we're talking about men here, so I'm not gonna try to go off that track. <laughs> so I feel like as as men, if we're insecure about something, we're gonna put that off on the other person. Mm-hmm. You get me? Regardless, because it's like you you might be I don't know insecure about your look. So when a good looking guy, a guy that's better looking than you starts talking to your girl, you're like, oh, you're cheating on me. You know, and th- th- those things tend to happen. You get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Because like you said, man, we're, we're raised with this mentality of, oh, we can't show weakness. You get me? Mm-hmm. If we cry, we're weak. You know what I mean? If we're crying, like, ah, you're a little bitch, you're crying. <laughs> you know? And it's, and I, I, I think that that's a battle between, that's funny. between reality, though. I think in reality, yeah. what did Chico say? That's, um, that's Ariel. Yeah, he says just be real with yourself, and that's the security right there. Yeah, I man, but it, it's hard. Honestly, it's hard to be real with yourself because you. you the best? No, no, not even that. It's also right. because you see the people around you, and they all let's say everybody throws up the, the fake secure, right? Yeah. So if you're the one that is insecure, you think you're the one that's off. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you're the only one that's actually being real with yourself, but you feel there's something wrong with you because you yeah. can actually be self-aware. And so it's understanding that just because 
you don't feel okay and you're able to voice it and everybody else disagrees, doesn't mean you're wrong. Because, I, I, you know, we'll see like a bunch of men all being secure and you might feel insecure and you're able to voice it. You're actually the most secure. Yeah, because you're so secure that you know that you're not okay. You know that you have doubts. You know that you have insecurities, yeah. right? And I think a lot of it is also is we learn to repress. You were just saying, you know, we put in the woman, but we learn to repress. And so men don't break down; they blow up, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so instead of crying, it, it, yeah, it's like, show this, like, like super so, saying, like, like we will let things come in, bottle up, bottle up, bottle up, bottle up, and then at a point. The smallest thing will trigger all the things that we've been repressing. Mm-hmm. And then we'll make a small situation into a grand scale fight because we never learn to release. We just repress. We don't release, we repress. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't agree with that more because it's the truth. Like, at the end of the day, us as guys, like like I said earlier, we're taught this, like... And it's not, I don't want to say we're taught, man. I think that it's just, like, the movies we watch. So, right, like, you see 007, right? You see, like, I grew up with 007. You see a movie like 007, this guy's... Dressed to the T, mm-hmm. super suave, with the with the uh, Aston Martin, getting martinis, and getting the baddest girls. So they sing like these mm-hmm. smooth lines. Men subconsciously start to build this thing, right? After movies that we watch, after people that we watch. That's almost like we need to obtain these mm-hmm. things. You know, like part of being insecure is, do I have enough money for the girl? <laughs> is my car nice enough for the girl? Is my attire nice enough for the girl? Is my physical body nice enough for the girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everything comes down to us comparing ourselves to somebody else. Yeah. You know what and, I mean? and, and, and a lot of it has to do with you don't want to be outstaged. Yeah. Think about it. You feel like the man. Mm-hmm. Uh, to somebody, you don't care what you drive. You don't care how much you got. You feel like the man if you're the only man around. So somebody else got has a car that's a little bit better, has a little more money, has a little more muscle, a little more intelligence, and then you feel like you're nothing. Yes. That happens all the time. You know, that, that, that that's... um. I think that, like, looking at, I guess, like, the, like the real psychology, right? Like, I guess if we try to look at the real psychology, yeah. right? um, mm-hmm. you know, we, 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 we got to start to really think about this. Why is it that we really do that, though? Like, why is it that, like, besides all this alpha male crap, right? Mm-hmm. Why is it that it's so hard for us to really speak out on what we're feeling at the end of the day? You know, like, if somebody did us wrong, why is it so hard for us to say, like, like, nah, man, you know, like, I was really feeling the girl, but you know what I'm saying? She she hurt me, blah, blah. We won't say no shit like that. I'll be like, nah, man, don't fuck with that bitch, bro. <laughs> fuck her. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll say, you know, we'll be saying shit like that instead of really, like, trying to, like, talk about, yo, we mm, feel like this yeah. because of that. You know what I mean? Like, why why is it that we never, like, all right, why is that you think that we never really get to that point where we could just, like, really express that? Like, why do men struggle the most with that? Because I think... Like, you know, our society, our ways of thinking, or stuff like that, have taught us that it's not okay mm-hmm. to be soft. Right. Like, think about, you know, you were saying the movies you watch, but in every movie, the man is like struggles, as, like a tragic hero, right? Yeah. Like, he struggles with himself, a fight, you know, and then he has to come at the end and overcome it all, and blah, 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 blah. But along the way, he doesn't show himself, like, they never show the man quitting, they never show yeah. him being weak. That, because it's like, we automatically associate the word man, being man, with being strong. Yeah. And we associate the word strong with not having feelings. Mm-hmm. Instead of having feelings and being able to overcome. Yeah, bro, you said it. You could have said that better. You know what I think, man? I think that there's a thing. I think in the outside of it, when we're looking on the outside of it, this is how it comes down to. We're looking at, let's say, that guy in high school, right? Who's like the star athlete and... And, you know, he's super popular. All the girls want him. And we're looking at this guy like, oh, this is the guy. Like, mm-hmm. they, this is how he is, you know. And we can't, we don't know until, because in reality, the girls are looking, right? Like, the guys are looking, whatever. But, like, the, the reality of it, the girls are looking and the girls, they want that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They want the popular guy. The guy that demands attention when he walks in, all of this, right? You know, so the thing that we don't really look at is how he is on the inside mm-hmm. as far as, like, it's because you know you uh, you as a girl you might want that guy like you know this this cool suave guy until you have him mm-hmm. and you realize that he can't really hold it down emotionally you know what I mean because at the end of the day he's still this suave as dude whatever on the outside you know what I mean but when you guys are like you know together and stuff it's time to cuddle and all that stuff that that's the thing yeah, like yeah, you want yeah. like yo I don't cuddle bro yeah, don't, I don't touch do me like, you know that, yeah. so a lot of these things that we don't really get to see from the inside which that's that's what I mean by reality. Like, in reality, we get attracted to, like, the outside stuff, 
and we don't really know what's on the yeah. outside. I mean, you can't. Uh, the same thing is also the opposite. Is you can't judge a book by its cover, right? Okay. So sometimes you'll see somebody who's like doesn't seem like they have it all together, but when you speak to them, it's refreshing, it's fresh air. Fresh air because they don't see, they don't feel, they don't act yeah. the way the normal standard man does. So it's like, hold up, this is the kind of man that you actually want to be. Yeah. Right? The man that doesn't, buy, like, he doesn't bind himself to the books, he doesn't bind himself to rules. He's just trying to be who he is, who meant to be, you know, comfortable in your own skin. Because I think sometimes we assume, uh, we misconstrue the word comfortable in our own skin. Mm -hmm. Comfortable in our own skin does not mean not understanding you have weaknesses. Yeah. It means that you're okay with understanding you have weaknesses and you're working towards being the person you always want to be anyways, yeah. right? It's comfortable understanding that I have flaws, that I'm not it, but I'm, I'm okay with that, you know? And I'm okay with understanding that people around me are not it either. Yeah. Because then that leads you to a freedom where you don't, you're not competing no longer to be the man of mans. Mm -hmm. You just want to lift up people. You want to encourage people. And that's important that, to get to that point. Um, okay, so we don't sway so much from the topic. What's one thing that you... That like you can see, like off bat, men are insecure about physical or emotional. Oh, physical or emotional? Doesn't matter. Haircuts. Haircuts all okay. the time. Well, no, no. Okay. Yeah, yes. all the time. Very, very all true. The time. Very, very true. Let's go deeper than just a haircut. All right. Let's let's go emotional. What's one thing that you see emotionally that a guy is insecure about emotionally? Like, how do I see it, or what's one thing they are insecure? Like, about? we have a girl here. What do you think about your dick? Okay. Nah, physical, physical. physical. No, no. But emotion, I think the one thing we're insecure about is um, is 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 itself like the idea of feeling. Like we're not like we don't use the word love as men. We don't use the word love enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Like how awkward do you feel? Honestly, let's be honest. Though it's wrong, but it's on. If I told you, yo, man, I love you. Well, me. You would me feel personally, awkward. Nah, I would. Me personally. Really? Me personally. If I told you I love you. No, you tell me I love you all the time, though. I know, but that's what... Because I mean, I've been trying to put that to practice. Yeah, I, mean, I don't... <laughs> but I'm saying... Awkward. But in general... All right. Well, I guess... Well, that's session. what I'm saying. In to me, like, to me personally, a lot of my guy friends say all the time, yo, love, bro. I yeah, love but see, you, you say like, love, bro. No, no, no. I'm saying... I'm <laughs> no, no, saying... I'm some saying, some, some of my guy friends will say, no, I love you, bro. Like, they'll say, yo, I love you, bro. Take care, whatever. I mean, for me, if you tell me I love you, if you send me love, that to me is the same thing. No, At least no, to me. To me, it's like, like for example, like, at one point, I used to... Sorry, I used to be, I used to find it awkward to say I love you. Like the phrase I love you, I find it uncomfortable. But you mean I love you to anybody? I mean in general. <coughs> Just in general. Yeah, I can't say the word <coughs> I, can, I love I can understand. You. I can say like love, I appreciate you, care for you. Yeah. But like the word, I, the phrase I love you, I, I struggled with. Yeah. Right, because it's like, it, it shows, at least in my opinion, it shows weakness. It shows how much I care about somebody. Yeah, yeah. And that means that they can hurt me. You know, so like as men, I feel like that's one of the things is yeah. we like to build a wall so we can't get hurt. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, for me, the only time I find it awkward is when somebody says I love you because they want to hear me say it back. Oh, that's because even worse. They feel that's even worse. Because, like, I have a friend, right, who she'll say, I love you because she knows that, like, you I'm not going to say it back. <laughs> so that's the only reason why I don't, why I don't feel uncomfortable because, like, why are you trying to make me say I love you for? Yeah, but it's not like I feel uncomfortable yeah. saying it, but you're just trying to get it out of me, so I'm not going to give you satisfaction. <laughs> But that's just it. But that, that that emotionally, I guess that could be something for a lot of men. Like in in, in general, like in men in relationships, they're not used. They're usually the ones that kind of like stop yeah, before true. they say I love. You. Like they don't want to say I love you first because you know they, we kind of grow up listening to whoever said I love you first or whoever cares the most in a relationship is hurt. the one that gets the hurts the most. Yeah, yeah. You get me? So we kind of grow up with this notion of like we're always trying to like shield ourselves so we never express mm -hmm. this crying. This because like, there's the thing at the end of the day, like. Yo, we're all human. We all cry. We all have emotions. Nobody here is emotionless. The the assassin in Russia who killed like a million people, tell me that guy cries at night drinking whiskey because they <laughs> killed his family or something like that. It's always something like that. It's never like people are just straight up emotionless. <laughs> Fuck up. Yeah, so we have a girl in here right now, and physically she pointed out guys are insecure about their dicks. That's very true. So you always hear the whole and. I want to talk about this, so don't look at me like that. <laughs> so, that's very true though. Like, if we're talking about the topic of insecure men, is any girls on there? Hey, Jody just, just joined. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh <-huh. laughs> so, there's this, there's this notion, just in general, that I think it comes from porn. Just, like, in, 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 in a real sense. And not just from porn, but just in general. Like, what, okay, the biggest guy who's muscularly big and tall is the guy who's gonna dominate, period. That's like that's like for the sense mm -hmm. versus the smaller guy, right? So I think that all of these things are <laughs> realities, like they're real realities, 
And I think that when people try to make it not a thing, it's because you're spending time almost like, like, damn, what's that word? But I just lost the word. You're almost trying to like make an excuse for why it's okay. Did I have a big dick? Yeah. You get me? Like, I, okay, look, this is what I mean. No, nah, I'm not following. Okay, so here's the thing. In reality, right, like, in realness, not everybody needs a big dick for sex. Like, everybody thinks that every man, like, you need to have this, like, 10-inch dick to satisfy a woman. You don't need that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, not every girl. Every girl is built differently. That's because you mess with black men. That's why. No, <laughs> no. For sure. But <laughs> Yo, we're still recording. I hope you guys know that. That's okay. That's a stereotype that I'm pretty sure black men are very proud of to this day. I was saying, so, I'm not edit, what do you mean? Nah, you don't have to edit that. So, shortening up on my dick talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my ace of Murray. <laughs> Right, uh, so, you got Karen in here too. That's cool. That's cool. So you know, um, damn, where, where where was that man? Before I got lost. The whole big joke. No, no, but where was that? Not I every girl needs. Right. So that's that's a reality of it, right? Like the reality is that not everybody, everybody thinks that they need this because in society and the porn <laughs> industry, that's what we see. That's what we're exposed to. Like visually, you don't look at you know when you look at sex, it's only between you and the person. Like unless you're a creep that hides in the closet. <laughs> And looks at people having sex. When you're looking at sex being had, you're looking at it from a screen on your mm-hmm. telephone. Yeah, you know I mean, you're looking at people that aren't average. Yeah. You know what I mean, you look. That's why like girls come with this encouragement from there because now all and, and this happens with guys. Guys start to treat girls very differently from that notion. You get know I me? Mean? Like, nah, man, I want to go with a big ass and big old titties because that's all you're exposed to. You know I mean, you're exposed to these dimes. These so when you see a real girl with stretch marks with Cellulite, like that's a real girl. And he said, take the diner and punish us. We what? Your mama's couch. Okay, look, I'm not, I don't know where you got that rap lyric from. I don't know where you got that rap lyric from. With the stretch marks, I'll still take your diner. Okay, (laughs) I like that, but no, but that's that's a that's a real girl. You get me? That's that's a girl that's natural. You get me? That those are real, but those bring insecurities into girls, just like they bring insecurities into guys. Guys start growing up with, look, this is the thing. I think, I feel like when you're older, you start to, you stop to care about that, at least in my opinion. When you're older, you start to get more experience, you stop to care about that. But as, when you're younger though, like in high school, that's everything, bro. That's like, if somebody ranks you on that, you kind of start feeling like, eh, like you don't want people to hear that, you know, even if it's true or not, you don't want people to hear that. As you get older, you start to care, because you start to like, you know, get like more wisdom and whatnot. No, but I think, uh, like, you, you mean you, you alluded to the idea of porn, but I think porn in itself is a very dangerous thing because it creates false illusions. For people. sure, for sure. Like, you know, like for example, the whole, the whole stigma of like a, a 30 minute video where maybe the first time you have sex was maybe like five seconds or, right. or the stigma of, of, you know, maybe you won't last 30, time, 30 minutes even if you have sex multiple times, mm-hmm. right? Or the whole idea of like, you know, the proportionality of a woman or, or the man. Uh, you know, it creates in you false expectations, which then leads to you devaluing women and devaluing men. Because we start, as, like, you know, every woman should look like this, or every man should be like something. that. You know, and I think it's important that we are self-aware to understand that the porn can be destructive in a sense. Because even in, and especially married men, you know, no longer find fulfillment in their wives or whatever, because they start saying like, yo, she does not live like that, or she's not this, or she's not that. So I think that that's a part of, you know, the insecurity that, that is built by, you know, all your videos, all this visual, sensual uh, stuff that we have around us, is that we, we now set bars for people. Instead of, you know, you said it, instead of accepting the fact that women have stretch marks, especially at the birth, or, or men, you know, have this or have that, or not, you know, seven feet tall, and you no, know, whatever. And so it's like we set unfair, unfair standards for people because of what society and what the norms and what the video and the this and that is shown to us. Because we think that every, like for example, even that the nerd they use in every movie is a good looking dude. Yeah. You know, it's like nerd on down, but, but exactly, but you know, so now you expect the nerd or whatever, or the this dude or that dude to all be super good looking according to society standards, right. and so now we're bringing people down, mm-hmm. and I think that's the big danger of uh, you know, even including in the sense of your the length of your penis. If you want to talk about, that sounds so white. Too short. Too short. All right. So what do you think? <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you think? At least from a girl's perspective, the why? Since you brought it up, why men are insecure? Mm-hmm. No, about that. Because they're always talking about it. But what do you think though? Why do they always talk about it? Mm-hmm. 
Because they're insecure about it. If you always bring up something that's like, saying, like, like, they, the they get deep, defensive the about part. it. Mm-hmm. They get defensive about it. And they're like, and if you tell them they have a small meat, they all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, <laughs> exactly, they're like, no, I don't. Uh, mm-hmm. You wouldn't know, like, why? Why do you have to get like that? If you're insecure about it, why should it even matter if you have a small meat? But, but, that sounds but, real childish, that, right? It's, yes. like, it's like, you know, when like, you like somebody and you're like, oh, you like this person. No, I don't. Yeah. Exactly, like. <laughs> But that's what I say. But what do you think? At least, like, if you could give it thought, the depth of it, what what would you say it is? I think it goes back to what you said, society. Society, society right? yeah, making it a big deal. So, men think that they have to have that because society has put that in their heads. Alright. So, as far as like an emotional thing that you think men are insecure about, like that that you've seen, what do you think it is? Money wise, state stability. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Because that's a powerful. That's because good. Because if good you one. see. Let's say you don't have it all together, you're broke, and then you see your homie, big balling, you know, mm-hmm. nice car, nice this, oh, and then you he's eating good, you guys go out to eat, you feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. You're like, damn, I don't have that, like, so yeah. you feel insecure, you feel like you're not mad. You know, um, that that is a really good one, because right. I think that even in marriages, that's like one of the big, that's, you know, so marriages, like, you know, what, 50% or whatnot. And I think it's like another forty percent of the reason why there's divorce is due to financial reasons, yeah. like the majority of it. And that's kind of like an issue, I think, in in general, like for men, like you know, like we feel like we need to have the that money. <laughs> that he said, "Fatima looks like the leader of your tribe." Very true about stability. Why, why are you ranking us, bro? <laughs> You better stop, Arian. Don't make me roast you now. I own you too. <laughs> that does not drive out slavery. It's a different thing. So, so I think that that's, that's very true. Though. Like, you know, in, in any relationship or just in general, we feel like we need to have money to impress a girl, to take the girl out. And and in many cases, that's, that's why I say, like, in many cases, it's almost true. Like, like okay. Now that you, like in your case, right, you might have a guy and you got known each other for such a long time that that, that's just a peer, but you guys know each other from a young age and you've grown up, you get me? It's different, like, Yo, if, hmm? where your money is. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But now, though, now, like, as a 20 something years old, you start to think about, like, Okay, like if a girl's looking at you now, I feel like a girl's really like, okay, so what are you doing? Are yeah. you going to school? What can you offer what me? What can you offer exactly. me? Exactly, and that's why it's almost a reality. Like I feel like that's also primitive. Like women are like gonna go for the guy that could provide the for them, that could protect for, that could protect them. That's why, like you know, there's a thing like when the guy has like big shoulders, little ways, big back. Like he looks like he could protect the girl. You get what I'm saying? And and it, it all of that stuff is primitive. So it's almost even though there are things to be insecure about, I feel like there's almost a truth for, for like, there's, like, a reason why we're insecure about them. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, you shouldn't be, because in a way, you kind of should. Like, you you almost should be, and, like, not necessarily, like, oh, if I'm not, like, a millionaire, you know what I mean? Or, like, I'm not making six figures a year, but you should almost be at a point where it's like, okay, like, are, are you doing something about it? No, That's but what even I'm saying. then, I think, uh, you know, there's an insecurity in men that they don't want a woman that makes more money than they do. Mm, that's very that's true. true. And it's, it, it comes from the ego. Yeah, oh, that's definitely it comes from the ego. It's my job to protect you. I don't need to need from you. You need to need from me. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And so we'll be okay with we're taking care of the girl. But the moment that we can't take her and she has to take care of us, yeah. that's when we feel jaded. Like. And I think it goes back to that podcast and video you guys made about if she should pay mm-hmm. for the date. And you guys kind of brought it in that it messes with your pride and you know because you don't want to feel like you're not man enough and everything and it's true and it's because well Chris talked about that off yeah to, but, but, to a certain extent uh, yeah, 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 but yeah, what I'm saying is but what I was actually everything. pointing out to, to the like the cynicism in the sorry the huh. cynicism in that because it's like wait you're not man enough like what does that even mean yeah, you know yeah, it's, it's like, like, like but we'll, we'll say those phrases they're like yo that's, that guy's not man enough or mm-hmm. he's not being a man yeah. you know but what does that word man mean right you know like, well, it's like yeah, it's like what does like, that embody what, what, what is a real man you know <laughs> I, I think that that's just almost something that's gonna be that you can't really answer in general it's something that's, that comes individual with to, you, to you yeah cause like like you might mess with like a rich girl mm-hmm. and for her a man is somebody who provides somebody who has this big corporate job or you know what I mean like I was thinking about this the other day like 
Well, girls, well, well, girls mind if your man is a millionaire, but he sells slime for a living. You, do you think girls don't mind that? Kind I want to ask y'all a question. Because think okay. about it, she's not going to... Oh, yeah. sorry. Okay, let's say you and this girl are dating casually, and every time you guys go out, you have it all from the money, the food, and even some smoke. But one day, you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. Uh-huh. Wait. That's all he put. Oh, so... Oh, should the girl be in the right? To what? To leave you or to, like, take care of you? Oh, but you said, you said dating casually. That doesn't sound like a committed relationship. That sounds like we go out... No, nah, but still, I... I, I don't know. Well, I, 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 I don't know, know, but if she leaves you, bro, she was only there for the smoke. Oh, of course. <laughs> for, sure. for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> for sure, she was only there for one thing. I mean, you, you said casually, though, so... If you're dating casually, you shouldn't expect anything from anyone. Right. You get me? Besides whatever you guys like, if you guys are just gonna yeah. like, you know, do your thing or whatever, cool. But anything else, I don't know. By not saying you're stable, should the girl be in the right by not saying you're stable? Oh, wait, but you mean like it's your fault? But do you mean like this happened one time? Or this is now like what your life is. What? What? Your question confused me. Okay, does it? Cause he said if you don't have it, does you mean like you don't have it for that one day, that one week, or this is like a like now this is like your life. So like you you just you don't have the money, you don't have the like you can't take her out to dinner, you don't have the smoke no more because you don't have the money like that anymore. Or did, it was just just like a bad week and it just happened. Oh, one day. Nah, man. I mean, nah, I mean, she man. should be oh, telling you. If she starts tripping, the, oh, you, day, you gotta cut that off, man. Like, yeah, yeah, she's a sure. gold digger. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if it's one day I don't have it, you're gonna be like, oh, you're not stable. I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck <laughs> do you do, my nigga? Like, you're, you're not stable. Yeah. You're depending on me. Exactly. Like. So, definitely, I don't think. I mean, if even even if this was like a constant thing, she still should say shit because before you had it, you know, you she wasn't tripping. Yeah. You were taking care of her. So, I mean, she shouldn't just say nothing. You guys should just go. For apart, sure. you know, your different days and that's it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. But I, I guess back, back to the thing I was saying, I, that's what I think is, it's not just about the money, but it's almost about title because it still has to be about men. That's why men, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, look, imagine if you have a man who, or uh, in your case, if you have a man, right, let's say, and he's a millionaire, but he's a millionaire because he sells slime. Like, he makes slime on YouTube and he's a millionaire. Right? When you're exactly <laughs> right? Or or would you rather have the guy who makes like let's say six figures a year, but he's like this corporate VP or something like that? Who would you rather have? The VP. Really? Because you you're know gonna feel the title. Yeah, I guess girls love the title. Like, oh my husband does this, yeah. this and this, like Which is insane to me. Or because, my man does this, this and but, this. But okay, look, like, you see, but off of that, that's what I mean by there's realities. Like girls, like look. Mind you, you have the money. Like, you're a millionaire. You're better than this guy. But like, you don't want to say, my, my man, the, he sells slime. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, what I'm saying. That but... sounds so sad. <laughs> like, like, damn. That's uh, what you have, like. <laughs> so what's your man? Your man's a slime ball. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it, though. The, 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 those are, like, real reasons to, like, to, like, be insecure. Because there's a reality to these insecurities. Mm -hmm. These insecurities don't come out of nowhere. These insecurities, there's a reality to it. Yeah, they're I mean, built. Like, like, coming back to physicality, if you're not physically adequate for your partner, you think your partner's going to really stay with you in the long term? No. She's going it, to... Something is going to be out of place. You get me? Like, just so period. No, no dad bodies here. No dad bodies are accepted here. Yeah, things like that. I, I mean, unless your partner accepts dad bodies. You get me? That's, yeah. that, that's what it comes down to. What, what are you doing? You guys have dad bodies. Nah, I definitely have no dad body. Don't play me. <laughs> you know, shit. So, but it, it, it comes down to that period, though. Like, I, I think that some of these insecurities, they're valid, but I think it's still up to the man to, like, really, like, be like, okay, you know what? I do have a dad body. I'm broke as fuck. I I'm saw ugly. slime. I saw slime. <laughs> I'm ugly as shit, but to understand this and, and move on. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good if, question. What happens if he sells slime but picks you up in a Lambo? Would you get with him, Fatima? Look, I well, would. Like, he's a millionaire. Yeah, he's, he's not going to drive no bum ass Toyota. He's going to yeah, drive Bentley's and shit. Like, 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 okay, 
I would probably be with him, blah, 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 but if people ask me what he does, I'm gonna sing. So you're gonna be insecure. I'm gonna yeah. say he's a millionaire. I'm gonna no, say he's a millionaire. No, he's a millionaire. What does he? I don't know. He just makes money. Wait, what? I'm not gonna he's say. A drug dealer? <laughs> he's got yeah, a drug but he's Pablo. He's Pablo. I'm not gonna say he's so. I'm Danny Escobar. <laughs> huh? Like I'm not gonna say he's so slime. But that you see, that, that, that's why I say there's reasons why men have to be real. because like this is the thing for me personally, right? And we've had this thing. I if I love to make slime, right? Because it's it, it's entertaining to the kids and I'm making a good living. I'm not gonna try. When people ask me, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I, I, I make slime, I sell it, and and I do YouTube videos about it. Like so I have a following, I have whatever, right? It's like, so so you make millions of dollars off of that. It's like, yeah, like what? Me personally, I don't have anything to be ashamed of. I'm a millionaire. It just says that I'm a great businessman because I made a living off of being able to sell something that people see as ridiculous or childish. But I've made a great living out of it. Now, your boy has to wake up at this time to go to the office at this time to this time to be a VP, to work for somebody else, to build somebody else's company up just so that he can have this cool title. Oh, I'm VP of, of financial operations at this company. Like, okay, cool, guy. Uh, I wake up whenever the fuck I want. I put down these chemicals down and I sell shit out of my fucking house on Shopify and make millions of dollars a year. I do whatever the fuck I want. You get me? Like, you have to wear a suit and tie every day. That's how I look at it as a man in my state that's today. True. You get me? That's true. The thing is that, that that's girls, another thing. But they see this yeah. title. But yeah. I mean, that, that, look, if a lot of girls think how you're thinking right now, then that just states that there's the women are also insecure about their man's title. And, I think and, so. Which is which I is first, crazy. but I think it's the same thing with men because if somebody comes to the guy saying, "Yo, what does your girl do?" Like you don't want to say your girl does slime. <laughs> <laughs> your girl does slime. <laughs> she, no. Like, 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 if, if somebody asks, no. I can. You, I can. Agree I would ask you this. Okay. okay. If somebody comes up to you like, "Yo," like, and you had a girl. Like, yo, what does your girl do for a living? You don't want your girl to seem like a bum. You know, like, yeah. if you want your girl to be... But she's thing. a millionaire. How's she a bum? She makes millions. She okay. makes more money than you. Forget the like, slime. Bum. Forget the slime. Look, this is the thing. Okay. I would say my girl's rich. But this is what I would say. This is what I would say, though. This is the thing. I don't think... You wouldn't say... I don't think... I would say my girl's rich. I wouldn't say what she does. I would well, say rich. I would. Exactly this this is why. This is why, though. Because this is the thing. <laughs> you can't say... Okay, unless you're a millionaire... And you're doing way better than she is. And even if you're not, you got to realize, like, yo, making a million dollars isn't easy for everybody, right? Like, some people struggle with that. That's exactly why they're part of the 1% or 20% or whatever. So, for you to come through and if I say, oh, what's your girl do? Oh, she, um, she, first of all, I wouldn't say, oh, she makes slime for a living, first of all. <laughs> I would definitely be like, oh, she has her own business, making this, this, that, that, that. Like, I would say the legitimate, the legitimized business. Get me? Like, oh, she owns... Whatever LLC, she makes slime, she has this or whatever, right? I wouldn't be ashamed though. I'd be like, she makes me, let me ask her, you make millions of dollars? <laughs> oh, wait then. Your dumb ass gotta go to work tomorrow. She gotta sleep. She do whatever she wants. I don't really see I her don't know, to but that's to a be ashamed of. Men and women. No, 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 but you're right. You're right to an extent. No, not men and women, because Chris also agree with no, no, you. No, 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 no. You're right to an extent in the sense like, you don't care if that person makes less money, right? You'll tell them, yo, she makes slime, she's a millionaire. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna say? I think that. Ha, ha. No, no. Ha, but, I, but I think that's what you switched it from the first example. The first example we asked two millionaires. Here. Yeah. That's not a millionaire. Okay, fine. That's not a millionaire. <laughs> listen, listen. There's a difference between okay, I'm a VP. I make one hundred fifty thousand dollars a yeah, year, yeah, yeah. and uh, every single year I make millions of dollars in revenue. That's a huge yeah, gap. Yeah, yeah, like that's, that's we're not in the same. Accord. All right, all right, but. I heard, I heard different. I heard yeah. millionaire. So I was like, oh, that sense that of course you want to want the nice title. But if somebody's just a millionaire, you're gonna be like, yo. Oh, well, but that's what I asked the question though. Yeah. Somebody who makes six figures is not a millionaire. Yeah, Some, no, no. Just because I make six figures, yeah. I make this much money yeah. every year. So every paycheck is like ten thousand, eleven thousand dollars a month. A millionaire's paycheck, like what, like freaking thirty thousand dollars a month? Like that's a, no. a more. I'm tripping way more money. Yeah, almost How ninety k, at least ninety k. Okay, imagine this. Your guy makes ninety k making slime and the other guy that you got to pick makes like 11k a month who are you picking ninety thousand dollars money bro uh, okay. a month, bro. You i already told you i'll pick the slime but i'm not saying what he does <laughs> so you're ashamed of him like, hell yeah that's exactly why men are insecure though that's another thing though. yeah so, because woman that's so true 
men sometimes are happy with what they do, but women are not. Yeah. Like, uh, so you are bum. Yeah. You do nothing. So they, so I can yeah. pull up in that vent door to pick you up, but you're gonna be ashamed of me. Yeah, I, no, yeah, I'm not gonna be ashamed of you. you are gonna be ashamed. of what you do. So you're ashamed of him. That's what he does for a living. Yo, there's a thing. There's another thing. People, people like to say like, oh, you know, like, who are we as people? We're not what we do for a living. And that's very true. But I think that in like this is the thing. In a perfect world, we are supposed to be what we do in a perfect world because it's what we devote our time to. You get know I me? Mean? The fact that we live in a society now that's almost like I don't want to say institutionalized, but it's very like. Like, yo, you got to kind of do this because you just have to. You know what I mean? We kind of tend to spend a lot of our time on things that we don't want to do. You know what I mean? So that, that, that's where a lot of these insecurities come from. You know what I mean? Like, we're doing things that we don't want to do. Like, that's how you look back 30 years from today and you're like, damn, I wasted my time doing this when I could have done this. You know what I mean? So a lot of those things matter. Like, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these insecurities, both with men and women, don't come out of thin air. They come for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, for a man being insecure about his physical appearance isn't because he woke up one day and said, shit, I'm, I'm shitty. Like, no, it's because a woman or you're comparing yourself to another man has put you down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, all of these insecurities come from other people. I think at the end of the day, all of this comes down to is that you need to care more about what you think about yourself for both men and women mm-hmm. than what other people think of about course. you. Of course. You know what I mean? But these insecurities are real. Like, they're not like, oh, yo, it's just in your head. Like, no, these are real things. You know what I mean? like, You're fighting. Yeah. Like, yo, look, when you get a savage girl, like a real savage girl, a girl tell her, yo, your dick is lit. I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> yo, your wallet's broke. I'm not fucking with you. Like, some girls that are savages will tell you this. Like, straight up. Some girls don't give a fuck. Like, some girls will be like, ah, oh, fuck. I mean, I guess I fuck them. Like, whatever. You know? <laughs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, but some girls will tell you straight up how they feel. You know what I mean? You're going to get your heart broken. You're going to get your little egos and then like, take a, a hit. You know what I mean? And that's where these insecurities come from for real. Like, they're, they're not like this made-up thing. Now, as far as guys, when they get their heart broken, they become savages. I think that there's some truth to that. But I just feel like men are like that almost. Like, it's just going to happen. It's, name. it's, name. it's because, okay, think about it like this. Or but sometimes... You, I think you're missing the real question. Here, no, sometimes... Is, the real question is... Hey Kiki, <laughs> do you <laughs> love me? Are you riding? Because if, like, you never... <laughs> if she doesn't leave my side, we don't have to well, talk about it. Yes. But true, true. I don't know because I feel like there's some boys or men, whatever you want to call them. Boys too, man. Um, the boys. Too. <laughs> boys. No, I'm the, a man. Okay. I'm a beard. I'm, I'm a man. Like, I'm a grown man. man. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna anyway. cry after this video. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, um, that sometimes they don't even have like a real relationship with a girl. They don't necessarily get their heart broken, and they still wind up like crazy, savage. Doing so, it doesn't necessarily have to do with them getting their heart. But they're gonna go through that either way because that's in the nature that society has put guys to be. Like, okay, if you see your homie like getting a lot of girls, like you're gonna get, a, you are gonna wanna. Get a lot of girls. I don't know. That's well, how. This, this is the thing. No, you have a good point. This is the thing. This is why I say I think men will go through it anyways. When we're young, right? <coughs> Teenagers, middle school, going to puberty. Right? Like, um, a girl in the DM told me today. Like, guys go through his face. So all they want to do is jerk off, watch porn, whatever. Right? Okay. If a guy touché, had... Touché. If a If a guy had a girl to do all those things and not watch porn, like, I would be smashing the girl. Like, if he had the liberty, right? Because remember... A lot of people, they end up watching porn because they just don't have somebody to express that. Because imagine there was no porn in the world back then. What were we doing? Shit, we got to talk to girls. Are we just going to beat our money <laughs> in the United Nations? Like, that's really it. That's the, crazy. So, so there's a... Yeah, pretty much. But there's a the thing. Guys get insecure about talking to women nowadays. You get me? Remember, like... We're like and I said it too. Like, yo, know, we, we're on the social media age. We don't talk to girls no more. We message them. You know, that's what we do now. You know, we message them all the time. So we don't even really go up to girls and talk to them anymore. So... We've grown so much into into this thing that we be, we don't know how to talk to girls no more. So it's easier to like go and go through this phase mm-hmm. of you know looking at porn or whatever than to go up to a girl try to talk to her or whatever. For sure. But the the whole point I'm trying to make is that us guys like in our twenties, our teens or whatever, we're like, bruh, we we hornios, bruh. That's what we eat for breakfast, bruh. It's like you're being <laughs> class. Look, every guy's gone through this. I don't care. You've been in class, you get a random bonus. It's happened to every man in the world. And the teacher tells you to get up and start feeding together. And then class, you're like, shit. Why the fuck I want to lose boxers today? Motherfucker. Now you got to put your butt back in front of you. You got to do something, bro. You got to do something. So, you know, we're going through these weird changes. 
if we have somebody there, we're gonna go with that somebody. You know what I mean? So that's why I feel like it's almost inevitable for guys to go through this phase one way or another. The difference is some guys know how to talk to girls and know how to get sex. Other guys, they don't really know how to do <laughs> so it. They got hands. So like, okay, I got hands, so I'm going to go for it. Sometimes I feel like it's almost inevitable. And now, for girls, their sexual primers are 40s. Like, at least from what I've heard from 40 and plus year old women, that's when you girls are like at your prime. You know what I mean? Like, so it's, it's just like this imbalance. And then, you know, men after 30... Our testosterone starts to, like, you know, go down the scale. So that's why I feel like God punished y'all real bad for that, bro. It's like, almost <laughs> like, like, think about it. Like, God, done, like, fuck with y'all. Because <laughs> 30 years old, our testosterone starts going down. So our sex drive isn't as high. And then your sex drive is just, your libido is just picking up. So it's like, yeah, man. Tisk, tisk. But I don't know. That's why, that's why I feel like, like, men will go through that phase anyways. Yeah. One way or another, just go through that phase. They go through agree. a super masturbation phase and then go through a super <laughs> whole phase. One way or another, bro. It's just, I think it's inevitable. I man. agree. Regardless of you getting your heart broken or not. Yeah. That, that's a bad idea. What? <laughs> what? What'd you say? Okay. Drugs, kids. Drugs. KOD, KOD. Touche, touche. Manuel, okay. So, yeah, man. So, <laughs> as far as, like, you know, these insecurities go, they're real. Men, a lot of men, though, besides that, do go through a phase where when they get their heart broken, they're definitely not like trying to be in no relationship. They almost want to cause the same pain that they're feeling onto others. Yeah. I know men that have gone through it, so it's it's almost like, you know, that that that's their their agenda. You get me? So. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. No, and, How can I hurt somebody? People. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I, I I had I knew this guy who he told me that like, he went through this phase. Where it was like, yo, I got my heart broken. At that time, I just didn't care about nobody's feelings. I was hurt, so I just wanted to go and like hurt them too. And it's like. Like, that was that was their agenda. That's what I said. That was literally their agenda. Like Touché. they'll get their Touché. sex and they'll keep it moving. So uh, no two shit. There's some new drugs. <laughs> so she's like you were like uh, two shit. <laughs> so yeah, man. So it's just very. Is is I feel like these insecurities are very real. It just takes again that self awareness to understand that you do have that you are insecure mm. that you do have issues. You're not alone. Call one eight hundred. One eight hundred what? I'm down. <laughs> that number does not exist. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's only enough numbers in that number. Actually, it would be. If the, if the apostrophe was like a number, then But there's no, yeah, there's there no is. numbers in the apostrophe, though. So. Sad. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, man, so... I think you covered everything, bro. Yeah. But, you know, obviously, there's going to be things we're going to miss. So... Comment. So, again, yeah, man. Comment on the live. Comment on the DMs. Well, comment on the YouTube. For, I know for sure there's something we miss. I think that girls... We'll have a much deeper conversation about this since girl. Cause I feel like us as men, because yeah, we be talking hella crap about you guys all the time, all the time. Because I feel like as guys, we can talk more about girls because what we have experience with, right? As far as the guy stuff, we can talk about it, but not in depth because you guys see things that we don't necessarily Different see. Different viewpoints, yeah. Yeah, so you know for sure. Comment down below. We're down to like you know create another one about this, another response, another thing. So. No, you guys hit us with which, uh, which, which, whichever way y'all want to sway. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be on the YouTube comments, on the Instagram comments, on the Twitter comments, on the Facebook comments, on the Tumblr comments. Y'all go in. Y'all go ham. Y'all let us know how y'all feel. So, um, yeah, man. This is it. <laughs> what was that? What was that?